Today what I wanted to talk about was our pharmacist and nurse-led clinic that we have for immunotherapy patients. Um, we use for the melanoma cohort of patients and we wanted to basically see more stable patients um, who are on two years of immunotherapy um, and review them, assess them, look after the immunotherapy toxicities, um, talk about survivorship issues, look at patients more holistically as well as clinically as well and I also wanted to make sure that we can um, look at other things like prescribing exercise for example because they're living longer they want to know how to live active lifestyles so we actually learn a lot from our patients which is really nice um, so it's about creating a new model of care where it's focused more on the melanoma patient because everything is focused on maybe a breast platform or prostate cancer um, where we've got that durability in cancer care um, treatments whereas melanoma is quite new so we wanted to test it all out so the clinic is structured on for example, on a Friday morning, we see them weekly. It's run alongside a consultant-led clinic, so if there's any problems, we can put the patient back into that clinic. But we're very much independent, so when we say we, it's me and Peter Hughes, who work together. Um, she's a clinical nurse specialist with 10 years' experience in melanoma patients. Um, I've got four years of melanoma experience, and we're both independent prescribers, um, so we see patients together, or sometimes um, individually, and what we wanted to do is um, review patients and produce a rapport with patients as well um, and then create an environment that is a bit more relaxed. Additionally, um, she's done physical assessment which I hadn't done so I put myself forward for a physical assessment course where, we do, where I did um, cardiovascular examinations, um, neuromuscular examinations, neurology, cranial nerves, abdo and respiratory and basically it's to make sure that we both have the same skill set to see that patient so we can cross cover each other so that was important and that was um, because we wanted to make sure the clinic is sustainable. Pharmacists can do physical assessment courses and it is really um, rewarding as well. It's a great way of learning how to do differential diagnosis, to pick up red flags. Um, it's okay to be hands-on with your patients as well and not to be afraid. Um, and also I wanted to just show that it's important that to have a greater skill mix and hopefully create um, a culture where we can create advanced pharmacy practitioners as they are advanced nurse practitioners.